to find out uh, how people should prepare if they're going to the parade, maybe a sweatshirt, maybe a sweater. Yeah, uh, layers will be good. You know, you want a light jacket, but yeah. you won't need that as we get into uh, the early afternoon. By 8 a.m., we're going to be in the low 60s, so a beautiful morning, but a little bit cool for some. So again, you might want a jacket as you step out the door for the parade. By 11 a.m., the start of the parade, so, so comfortable in the low 70s. And then by 1 p.m., we're going to be in the upper 70s with high temperatures today here in Tucson, warming up into the low 80s. So a gorgeous, gorgeous Veterans Day. Looking at your water vapor imagery, we still have that area of low pressure just kind of hanging out to the south of us. And what that's doing is, is it's continuing to bring in moisture to southern Arizona. So areas to the extreme south and east of Tucson could see some isolated showers for today. The rest of us will stay dry, but we'll be dealing with a mix of sun and clouds at times here in Tucson uh, by uh, noon. So right around lunchtime, mix of sun and clouds can be expected for most. Looks like a lot of us will be on the dry side, but by about 3 p.m., couple isolated showers will be possible for Santa Cruz and Cochise County as well as northern Mexico and into New Mexico as well. And that'll continue to be the case into the early evening. By about 8 p.m., most of us are on the dry side, still dealing with a few clouds here and there. So a couple isolated showers for today to the south and east of Tucson with rain totals less than a half inch, and I think even less than that for the lower elevations with about a tenth of an inch possible in those spots. Today's highs mainly in the low 80s for areas in and around Metro Tucson. Overnight lows will be a little bit cooler in the low 50s. Mix of sun and clouds today, wind south east at five miles per hour areas to the south and east a little bit cooler mainly in the 70s but places like Bisbee in the upper 60s with overnight lows dropping into the 30s for some like Wilcox. Here's a look at your satellite and radar. We do have a cold front that's going to be making its way from east to west through Arizona early tomorrow morning. So that's really going to pick up our wind. We could see gusts up to about 40 miles per hour tomorrow. This is uh, tonight starting at 8 p.m. Still pretty calm, but as that cold front approaches from the east uh, by 5 a.m. We're going to be dealing with gusts close to 30 miles per hour in some spots and then by noon still pretty windy with again isolated gusts up to 40 miles per hour possible. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures drop into the mid 70s tomorrow. That'll be the coolest day of the next seven and very average for this time of year.